Hey everybody, it's just one of these things that happens at the last minute, didn't really plan this. I was sitting in the house having a nice cold bottle of Corona and uh, some chicken wings that I got at Publix at the, at the uh, deli. And I decided that the skin off the chicken wings would, might make really good fish bait. So I'm out here with a small, very small setup. And we're gonna see if I can catch a fish, a bluegill or something like that with a piece of fish, a, chick, a piece of chicken skin. I'm just gonna take a small piece of chicken skin and uh, stick that on that hook. Just like that. I don't know if you can even see. I can't tell what you can see because I don't think the lighting is that like really that great right here, but we'll give it a try. I got a porcupine quill as a as a, a bobber. And hopefully we don't have to deal with the turtles. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Piece of chicken skin, folks. It's sinking very slowly. I don't see anything hitting it yet. It's sinking very slowly. <laughs> we'll be back when something happens. If something happens, we'll be back. Something does like it. But the stuff that likes it is right here under the dock. So, got to fish real close. Got him. <laughs> Panfish. Uh oh. Well, he fell off. But the, the bait is still there, so it's pretty tough. Let me try to get this fish. He's got to go back in the water. Little baby bluegill. There we go. Let him go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so, my idea that fish might like chicken skin, it's cooked. It's been fried. I believe they fry it. Um, it's correct. They will eat chicken skin. So, let's, let's see if we can get, get, get Let's see if we can get a little bit bigger one. Be back. All right, I got me another one. Here comes a damn airplane. All the time. Never fails. Go to making a video and you're gonna get an airplane. That's just where I live. Whoop, he got off. He he got lost I lost my bait that time. But this one's a little bit bigger. See if we can get him in the lip. If I can hold him up for you. Come on, buddy. Open your mouth. I'm not the dentist. Here we go. A little bit bigger, not much. Let's try it again. That's two, two fish off one little tiny piece of skin. Let me get another piece of skin. Folks, they nibble at it for a few minutes or a few seconds, and then they just leave it alone. It's like they're not, they're not crazy about it, like I am. I really like it, but they don't like it as much as me. And I'm not going to be out here for very long. Got a lot of yellow pollen, uh, pine pollen, right now in the air. Uh, have to wash the car off every day because it's yellow. So I didn't buy a yellow car. It gets to my it gets into my sinuses and my nose and stuff, and it's not good to breathe. So I won't be out here much for very long. I'll give it a try. I mean, I'm I'm definitely giving it a try. Y'all bear with me. I'm trying trying to do the best I can to get y'all some videos, but there just really ain't a whole lot going on right now. Unless you want to sit watch me sit sit around and watch TV. I mean that's that's no fun. That wasn't me making a good video. I'll be back if I catch one. Just sitting here, an osprey just dove down out of that pine tree over there and landed into the water. And uh, 
he was having a hard time getting back out and I'm like oh shit am I going to go over there and help this bird he finally got to flying and he came up with a bass that bird just caught a bass about as big as a hot dog yep he sure did and here I am sitting over here fishing with chicken skin another airplane gotta go that bird saw that bass a long way off I mean I know he's up in the air and you got a lot better view from up in the air but still that was uh, quite a good distance away for him to see that small bass. But that was awesome. I wish I would have filmed that for y'all. That would have been a, a cool thing to watch, but I didn't even know the bird was there. He's been sitting here watching me fish all this time. I got one nibbling. Hopefully it ain't that turtle. Nope. Yeah, that, <laughs> he's just sitting here watching me. He wasn't even bothered by me. And, uh, he, he, uh, he must have been here b way before I got here. He was waiting for a fish. Like me. Folks, I got a bigger fish. Oh yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Look at there. Just let, just set and let it wait. And just set and waiting. He came right on along. Ate that chicken skin. They like chicken skin. Chicken wing skin. Chicken wing chicken skin. Let's try it again with some chicken wing chicken skin. That's the end of this, folks. I lost my porcupine quill out there. And I don't know, I don't want to really put my canoe in the water just to go get it. I don't think I'll be able to uh, reach it. I don't want to get wet. I don't want to walk in the water. So that's the end of this fishing trip. Porcupine quill, I got, I got plenty more inside, so. I hope y'all enjoyed this little old short fishing trip with chicken skins. Thanks for watching.